Do you know that feeling when you can't seem to hit a shot and the enemy is always moving so fast on your screen and then the second that enemy shoots at you, you get one tapped? What if I told you that you can fix both of those problems with one simple rule? You will have a much easier time aiming and you won't get one tapped. So hear me out, here's the rule. When you have an easy aiming adjustment to make, you do a short strafe. When you have a hard aiming adjustment to make, you do a long strafe. Now let's break this down. The first part simply means that when you are engaging into a fight that you are well prepared for, that you have good crosshair placement for and that you can quickly win with a little micro flick onto the head, then you should aim to stop moving early, execute that micro flick and get that kill. On the other hand, if you find yourself in a fight that you are not prepared for, where you are surprised and your crosshair placement is off, then your first reaction should not be to do a wild flick and instantly start shooting or even worse crouch spraying, because the chances of you hitting that shot are low and in the meantime the enemy has an easy shot on you because you are stationary. Instead, your first reaction should be to move aka strafe to one side while you do a big aiming adjustment to land somewhere close to the target target and then you can micro correct onto the target stop and shoot. Now obviously to every rule there are exceptions which I will get to later on but what I can promise you is that following this rule will benefit you immensely because it promotes good and clean mechanics. You aim while you move and stay a hard target. You only fire bullets when you are ready and have a good chance to be on target and you apply the correct aiming mechanics at the correct time. This does not only work when you first peek into the enemy. Even when you both miss your first shots and it turns into an extended fight, you can use this rule. If you barely miss the enemy and your crosshair is right by his head, you can just do a very small counter strafe and immediately correct with a micro flick to kill. If you missed by a bit more and maybe the enemy also strafed away from your crosshair, now you have a harder shot. So it makes sense to do a longer counter strafe so you can buy yourself time to get back into the fight. When you practice this at first in the range and death matches, you might actively have to think about it, but sooner than later it should become a natural habit for you and alongside training your aim, this should improve your gunfighting mechanics a lot. And you will start to see that you have a much better chance in those unfavorable duels because you give the enemy a much harder time hitting you while timing your own shot to the moment when they become an easier target themselves. Of course, as your mechanics improve, you will be able to make those big adjustments followed by a micro adjustment faster and faster and so the time you need to buy with a strafe will decrease. And of course, applying this rule won't mean that you will never get one tapped or never lose a fight again. It will just increase your duel's percentage. Which is one of the stats, by the way, you can see on our free analysis and improvement tool inside. So make sure to check that out. Now, as I said, of course, this rule is not set in stone like that you have to apply to every single gunfight. There are situations when you can be surprised by an angle and still bang out a super quick flick for the kill, especially once you reach a higher skill level. Or a twist to this approach that a lot of good players use is that when they get surprised by an enemy, they do a very quick flick towards target and that zone for a brief moment to fire one or two bullets and potentially kill, while landing their crosshair close to the target at the same time. After that you can then strafe again and do the easier aiming correction. You will find your aiming style with time, so just give it that and keep practicing. In the meantime, you can watch this video on how to improve your decision making, which next to gunfighting mechanics is another super important factor to win more games. I'll see you there.